What's up everybody, Joe from Total Justice Gaming here with another deck video. Actually, a lot of you people requested, so this is my Guy Grander deck. A uh, little history about the deck, the Guy Grander is actually the thing that really pulled me into Buddy Fight. I was aware of Hero World, I waited forever for them, they kept showing it, they kept teasing it, and honestly I was getting frustrated because it was just never coming out. They finally came out with the Q5 uh trial deck, excuse me, <laughs> they never, they came out with the Q5 trial deck, and it was like, all right, it's Power Rangers, awesome, I'll play it, I wasn't really feeling it, because it wasn't getting any support, and then, um, Buddy Fight 100 started, and the Hero World started getting support, and uh, the Q5 deck got a lot better, I'll be doing a deck review of that later, but what really pulled me in was uh, Guy Grander, because, as you can see here, pretty big Common Rider fan. So, Common Rider is really, really good. Uh, big fan of, I'm a big fan of Common Rider. I love it to death. It's why I really love my Cardigan deck, and I love my Guy Grander deck. Um, it's one of my favorite decks to play. Uh, it was the first deck I went out of my way to actually complete. So, hopefully you guys will like it. I haven't changed the deck too much, save putting in, like, the... Guy Grander 3, uh, I don't really think it needs to be changed all that much. Um, it's still a pretty fun deck. I don't think it's super competitive anymore, but it's still fun. Uh, still have a great time. You can still win with it. It's just, you know, uh, the next time I believe has passed, even with the uh, coming of Guy Grander 3. I was about to call it uh, Sango. Uh, but, you know, still, I want to be able to put this out there. I want to share this deck with you because it's very special to me. Like I said it earlier, um, it was the first deck I went on my way to complete, uh, complete. And, uh, before we get into that, guys, uh, thank you so much for everybody that's been watching and commenting, um, and leaving likes and subscribing. It's really, really uh, just wonderful that you guys have embraced uh, the channel and the guys that have been helping me out. Uh, we're really, really happy that you guys, the community has taken to us as quickly as it has. Uh, we are working really hard. Uh, if you w like the videos that we're doing, please subscribe, uh, please comment, please like. That way you can get out there more. If you don't like it and give it a thumbs down, that's great too. I don't mind. I do ask if you give it a thumbs down, please leave a comment and let me know why you didn't like it. That way we can change and we can improve. So with that out of the way, let's get on with the deck review. So, as you saw, we have, and I'm going to do this, guys. I apologize. It's just ingrained in me. Uh, I will be saying Ichigo, Nigo, and Sango for uh, the Guy Granders. It's just habit. So, as you can see there, the buddy is Guy Grander Ichigo, which is uh, the red one. Fire-based one, so we run four of him. As you can see there, uh, grab that third one and activate. Uh, he's a 424, which isn't too bad. Uh, decent stats nowadays, a little bit low, uh, but can still block some of the uh, size one's attacks. Uh, act if it's an activate ability. If you're a transformer into this card, pay two gauge. If you do, search your deck for up to one card with Guy Grander's name, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. You can transform into this card by paying a gate, and you return up to one Guy Grander in its name to your uh, your transform into back to your hand. Uh, so he's the guy you primarily want to be transformed into because he swaps out back and forth. Uh, he also is pretty much the crux of the deck, so you really want to get him as quick as possible. He can go get you anyone in the deck that has Guy Grander, which is the majority of the deck. Um, so we definitely run four of him. Not to mention he's the buddy. So, of course, we're going to run four of the buddy. Uh, next up, we run four Nigos. Uh, Nigo is Call Cost of Pay Gauge. He's a 5 2 five. Um, when this card enters the field, search your deck up to one card of Guy Grander and put it into your hand. Uh, another great search tool. As I s stated uh, quite a bit in the last video, I love Tutor. Uh, it's one of the most important things in the game. Uh, it takes that random variance out. It thins your deck. Let's get to your cards quicker. 
it's just one of the best things ever. So, of course, we won four of him. So, now we got the new guy. Uh, new guy is Guy Grander Sango. We run, of course, run four of him. Uh, he is a 4-2-1, size 1. Uh, with the activate with the ability of the third guy, which actually I kind of like that. Um, when this card enters the field and you are transformed into a card with Guy Grander, draw a card. He only act, it only activates once per turn. Uh, really really good. Uh, good fielding presence means you can share a field with uh, just about any of the size twos, or run a full field if whatever reason. And you get to draw a card if you're transformed on Guy Granted, which more than likely you're going to be, since that is the whole idea of the deck. Uh, we run two of Defense Mode, or Analyze Form, which is a 3-2-6. Uh, you can counter-transform into them, so you can transform into this dude on the opponent's turn and hopefully block an attack. There are cards in this deck which will reduce the damage or uh, give him pretty big stat bumps, meaning he can pretty much phase out most attacks, save for some of the bigger guys nowadays, like Azidahaka and some of the um, Osmodais. Sorry, took me a moment. Haven't seen an Osmodai in quite a while in the locals. Uh, next up, we got his finish form. Uh, his critical strike, his rider kick, rider punch, whatever we want to call it. This is our final attack on him, which is Guy Grander finish form. He's super good. We run two of them because he's search searchable via Ichigo and Nigo. Uh, you can swing with somebody and then transform into him, swing again. And that three and penetrate is just nasty, and it can only get nastier with some of the spells we run in the deck. Uh, for non Greg Granger stuff, we run two of uh, Rescue Dragon uh, Justice Drum. Yes, I got the super pretty SP. Uh, very, very nice. Um, it's a 525 that says, When this card attacks and destroy the monster, if you're transformed, Bridium. Uh, I pretty much use this to transform. Uh, when I'm transformed into Ichigo, I swing with him to attempt to clear the board. Uh, if they don't, if they let me keep swinging, it means I can guarantee an open center, which then will let me swing for two with Ichigo, then transform into finish form for an additional five, three, may a grand total of five damage. If it goes well, I mean, the, we're talking about perfect world scenarios here, people. So it doesn't happen too often, but it does help. Uh, next up, we run to Emergency Launch Decker Drum, which is, uh, of course, he's a 624, uh, call cost is pay a gauge. Uh, whenever this card link attacks with another superhero, choose a card in the link attack and ready it. If that card, uh, if that card ready is a card you're transformed into, deal with damage. Uh, so you get to, you can link attack with finish form for a grand total of five damage, re-ready, finish form, and burn them for a point of damage. Really, really good card. Uh, I only run two of it because I only have two of it, but it does work well in uh, combination with Justice Drum, meaning you can choose either to clear the board or when you know you they have no shield in hand, uh, swing in and drop him and then just go for the finish. Uh, next up, we got to Lightning Chaser, because whenever he destroys a monster, you gain a gauge, which gauge is important in this deck. Uh, we then run to Lord Takato, because he gives a stat bump. Uh, he can also sit there with the drums, or any of the Guy Granders, and give him plus one, plus one. You'd be surprised how often that plus one, plus one screws somebody over on the defense or the offense. So I drop him. Uh, we run... For Rescue Dragon Project Gunner, because again, we do need gauge. So you can pitch him to gauge one. Uh, really, really good card. I try to run it in any deck I can run it in. Uh, that's that. Onward to spells. Uh, we run four Justice Will Prevail. Uh, again, that stat bump, uh, you're looking at a either a 7 7. A sorry guys for the hold up. 
seven, seven, a six, uh, nine, or a nine, five, uh, if you're on all the Guy Grander transformations. So, plus counterattack, and since you're in an item and they can't destroy the item via monster effects, well, they can. Some can now. That's become actually pretty prevalent as of late. But if you need to get over on them, then this is going to help you do it and take out the monster in return. Uh, so, run four of these. Um, then we got, of course, four I've seen through your moves. It's the basic shield for Hero World. We're going on uh, th its third reprint, so it doesn't need to be said any more than that. Uh, we run four Arduous Training. Uh, Arduous Training is just an absolute beast if you can uh, combo it with Finish Form because and it's... Finish form is dealing... God, what is that number? It's a big number. Uh, two, two, six, five, eleven with penetrate, uh, extra crit. I mean, it's a crit of four? Yeah, crit of four with penetrate at 11k. Uh, not too many defenses get around that unless they have additional defense boosting. So you'll be able to hit for really big numbers really quick. I've actually been able to, uh... Turn two, turn three, an opponent uh, at locals with this combination alone. So it's why I run it up next. Uh, next up we got, uh, it's here, the new suit. Uh, it's here, the new suit is just a ridiculously big stat increase. I mostly use it to out... Uh, defense uh, opposing players with uh, defense form or analyze form, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, with this card, I understand it doesn't have counterattack, which kind of sucks, but when you're looking at an 11, possibly a 12 defense monster, they're not getting through you. So I only run three of that. Uh, I run four um, bleh, hyper energies. Again, gauge is really important in this deck. You've got to have the gauge to be able to swap out really quickly and pay for other effects. And then finally, we run three. It doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work. It's just, you know, if you're going to get hit, you're going to get hit. You got no, can't do anything about it, but it does reduce the damage by two. Uh, in some cases, that's just enough to be kept alive, or in some cases, that just negates the damage altogether. So, that's the Guy Grander deck. I hope you guys liked it. Again, like I said, this deck is really... There's not really too much you can do to update it, except maybe Plasma Mines, or um, it's a Shallow Shot. Or that's a Shallow Shot. You could try that instead of It Doesn't Work. Um, also, the dude on a Shallow Shot, he's a Dark Hero. I kind of think lore-wise, he's either a failed uh, Guy Grander, or he's an evil Guy Grander, like in the s similar state of, like, Shadow Moon or Hakiter from uh, the Hakiter series. Not sure what his actual deal is, but he bears more than a striking resemblance with the other Guy Granders, so I don't know what they're going to do lore-wise, but, you know, that's just uh, personal... Terry crafting on me. So again, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you like it, subscribe. Link, give me a thumbs up. If you give me a thumbs down, again, please comment. Let me know what I can do to do better. And I'll see everybody next time. Thank you.